Hey guys, what's going on? It's Lefty from 643 Productions coming at you here with a Black Ops Domination live gameplay commentary. I've been sick of free for all, man. It's been a rough day, just a, a day full of, of running into, quote, those kinds of players. And, uh, and you know, I just don't want to deal with it anymore. It's been, it's been rough to deal with. Oh man, those guys are in white trailer. So I'm going to try to bring you a Domination commentary. It's, it's less stressful, uh, less anger-inducing, and so... Uh, oh, thank you. But it's firing range, though, so that might change. But and I know I said that, you know, the uh, the the score isn't really what matters to me. Uh, but the problem is, is that when I run into a bunch of of players like that, I get so focused on what's happening uh, and what angers me that I just kind of forget to talk. And so, you know, while the score doesn't matter, it's that. I, I made a pact with myself. I said, okay, well, if I'm not going to be about the... How did I not see that guy? I just got to pay attention. Uh, if I'm not going to be about the score, I better... I sure as hell better be about the about the commentary. And so if I'm taking long, unnecessary, weird, awkward pauses because of what's going on, you know, I can't... Uh, I can't in good conscience put that up. And so I have, I've had to scrap a lot of commentaries, a lot of stuff, and, uh, and so... No, oh, what the hell is that guy doing? Trying to get B, slick. Uh, but anyway, real quick before, uh, before I jump into the topic at hand, I wanted to, wanted to thank everybody, uh, for making my job amazing. Is that guy in there again and I missed him? Oh my goodness. <laughs> but, uh, I recorded earlier today, as of this recording, or earlier this evening, uh, the first ever top ten list for Fanatical Fridays. And I have to say, it was amazing. It was fantastic. I couldn't be happier uh, with how it went and, and all the things that I was able to do and how much fun I had. I had a ton of fun making and recording that video. And uh, all your submissions were great. They were awesome. The topic was the top ten things. David Vonderhaar screams at his controller while playing Black Ops. And I had a great time. And I have no problem uh, saying right now that I want that to be a, the top ten list. I want that to be the uh, the flagship bit of Fanatical Fridays. Please respawn. Please respawn. Please respawn. No, okay. And so I, I, I would like that very much. And so I'm going to continue doing those. I will be coming out with a video soon where I give you another uh, topic for the top 10 list for this upcoming Fanatical Fridays. And hopefully you guys all enjoy. And again, like I said, I, I it doesn't take that much to uh, to jump on in on the uh, on all the fun just send out a, an email to fanaticalfridays at gmail.com and you know that's that's it that, that's that's all it takes and so i hope it brings a lot more people in because it's a lot of fun it's a chance for you to be funny and for me to have a, a ton of fun recording these videos and uh and so hopefully next week we get i get a lot more submissions and i have to do a lot more work sifting through and, and finding the uh the funny parts and and laughing my ass off all the way um so and also, if you if you missed it, if you missed it, uh, the a link will be in the description as as well as in an annotation on the screen. And I encourage all of you to go check it out. Where'd this guy go? He's over here. Please don't tell me he turned around. He went top wood. Where are you going, slick? Really? Oh man, that was weird. Um, anyway, the topic I wanted to cover today is I, I wanted to I wanted to just have more of a philosophical discussion because today was an interesting day on YouTube because it seems Activision has started in on the if you mention a game that we don't want you to talk about, we are going to flag your videos for copyright infringement. At least that's uh, that was those are the rumors going around, and so. Uh, I'm going to try to be very cautious about what I say in this commentary. Uh, so when I refer to, let's say, a, a Call of Duty game to be named later, I think you guys will hopefully understand what I'm talking about. And um, But I, there was some information that came out today, or that was that was detailed today, about the about the this this unnamed call of duty game uh it's perk slotting and uh and really specific perks in the game and 
One thing I, I wanted to know, and, and a question I still have, is if, if this game is going to take Ghost, or at least what is Ghost, and split it up into different parts, I'm wondering how that's going to be done in terms of slotting the perks, and really in my mind there's two ways for this to go. Uh, the, the remnants of Ghost will be split up obviously into two perks like they are now, or like they are supposedly, and they will be put in separate perk slots, or they will be put in the same perk slot. The same perk slot would mean that you are unable to have what is Ghost now in Black Ops in uh, in this, this unnamed or this Call of Duty game to be named later, and so I'm wondering if there would be some serious backlash from the community because of that, though. And I don't think that would be a viable option for the developers to choose because Activision, regardless of balance, Activision has their eyes on the bottom line. And if these, uh, if the stealth perks are a way to to bring in uh, the the more casual gamer and and get their money. You best you rest assured that Activision is going to say no 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 those things are in the game, and so what what seems more logical to me is that the the remnants of what is Ghost will be put into different perk slots, which means that you can have what is Ghost now, or let's assume it's Ghost, or, or the the meat and potatoes of the perk will be what Ghost is now, or the the perks excuse me when you add them together. Uh, if they do that, I'm wondering, will it be enough to make players sacrifice an entire perk slot just to get what Ghost is? I'm wondering if that would be worth it. So I guess we'll find out. I don't know. I honestly don't, because I don't know what's worth more to, to players on the whole. I don't know what's worth more in the calculus of Call of Duty, the ability to be stealthy, or the ability to alter TTK, because really, removing Ghost or, or making Ghost across two slots, again, if I was a developer, I would put it in a TTK altering slot. And my question is, what do players value more? Is, or what is more valuable in the calculus of Call of Duty? Is it the ability to be stealthy or the ability to alter TTK? I believe it's the ability to alter TTK, and I think that will go a good way, or a good long way, in balancing Ghost. In this Call of Duty game that is to be named later. <laughs> but anyway, guys, that's my time. I gotta get out of here. Thank you for joining. I hope you enjoyed this live commentary. Again, there's a link in the description of Fanatical Fridays with the top 10 list, with the top 10 things David Vonderhaar yells at his controller while playing Call of Duty Black Ops, and there's an annotation on the screen. If you click on that, you'll be transported to the video. I suggest you all go watch it and be and, and enjoy it and like it up if you're, if you're laughing and having a good time. I really had a great time recording it. Uh, and be on the lookout for a video coming soon giving you the next topic for fanatical friday's top 10 list thank you for joining i hope you enjoyed i am out